my name is Pearl, and today I thought I'd just turn on the camera and talk with you. I've been looking at my YouTube analytics lately, and I've taken note that most of my viewers are male. So as a species of the opposite gender, I thought um, maybe I should make a video that would help you get the girl that you want. I'm not saying that this is going to work for every single girl, but I'm saying this as a 27 year old who has had many failed relationships and has a couple of things to share with you about what a girl wants from a guy. Number one, consistency. No girl in the world wants a guy who is hot one day and then cold another. It's nice to wake up every day to, you know, maybe a good morning text. But if you're sending good morning to like every girl or like multiple girls at a time, then you are a jerk and you should click out of this video and not come back here when someone is texting me i appreciate it when they respond at like a reasonable amount of time say if i were to send a text message i could always rely on them to respond you know within within two or three hours and um yes consistency is vital and very attractive in a person Number two, chivalry is not dead. You can open the car door for her every single time. Like it takes like five seconds to do it. You just walk over to her side of the car, open the door, let her in and close the door for her. And don't just stop like after you guys get into a relationship. Keep doing it and like do it until you guys grow old together. It's really, it's a really nice thing. Like when a, when a man takes his time to open the door, to pull out the chair, you know, pulling out the chair. I don't think anyone has ever done that for me before. That is like pushing the chivalry and hella props to you if you, if you do that. Um, but yeah, like girls appreciate that kind of stuff. Number three, get her to talk and let her talk. This is probably where the money is at. Um, you just get a girl to talk about anything, about her family, about her dog, about her cat, about her schooling, about her work, anything that is important to her, and you just let her talk and don't say anything. I mean, once in a while, just pause nod but be sincere like be sincere about it really be listening to her because if you're listening to a girl talk about what she loves what she does and it doesn't interest you genuinely like if you're listening and like it's boring to you or you find yourself zoning out like if you're zoning out on this video right now she's not the right person for you and maybe you guys are better off as friends and maybe you guys should keep things on a surface level. Because the best thing in a relationship is when it starts off as friends and you really get to know each other by having these deep conversations about what you love, what she loves, and eventually the intimacy comes in later on. Number four, don't touch her. I've met people where upon like first meeting, they would like put their hand on my leg or like they would put their hand like on my, you know, just put their hand on me, which that's kind of uncalled for and gratuitous. Maybe some girls like that, but most of the time girls don't want that unless they are actually romantically interested in you. So if you think that by touching her, that she's gonna respond and like automatically fall in love with you the more like you touch her, you are sadly, sadly mistaken. So yeah, 
don't touch her. Don't touch her unless you know for sure that she is interested in you that way. Number five, don't mansplain things. What I mean by mansplaining things is say I ask you a really simple question like, what does a door do? You can tell me simply a door is to, you know, give you privacy. You open it to take yourself from one room to the other and it closes. You just be clear about what she's asking and leave it at that. If she continues to ask you more questions, like if she wants to know more, she'll, she'll ask you. But other than that, don't go on and on and on and on and on and on about doors. Like, oh, doors have hinges and the hinges have nails and the nails are put in with screws and the screwdrivers are either, you know, power tools or you could do it, you know, just don't mansplain things. Don't act like you're superior to her just because you know more about doors than she does. And also, most of all, don't make her feel stupid for asking a question. For instance, I'm not very good at geography. I, I don't know all the places and cities and capitals of the world. This happened before. I was like, oh, where is, where is Czechoslovakia? And the person's like, you don't know where Czechoslovakia is? In a really, really sleazy, I am above you demeanor. That is not necessary. Just simply say where it is and have it at that. She will appreciate you for telling her where Czechoslovakia is and she won't feel badly about herself for your sleazy attitude about her not knowing. Number six, don't drive like a douchebag. I'm sorry, that's a little profane. What I mean to say is, don't drive recklessly with her in the car. I've sat in people's cars before where they drive so fast and I feel like it's almost as if they're trying to impress me. And I'm here to tell you, no matter how old you are, no matter what car you drive, driving recklessly is never attractive. It doesn't make you look tough. It makes me scared. It makes me uncomfortable and you shouldn't do it. Now I understand some people have road rage. I have road rage sometimes. Sometimes your feelings, your emotions consume you and your body is at one with the car. That's still inexcusable. It's not okay. Just drive safely with her in the car. Always drive safely with a female in your car. It's respectful. She will appreciate you for it and she will remember the comfort and safety that she felt when she was in your car. Because she may or may not have memories of sitting in a car with a man who did drive super fast doing 80 and a 45 or, you know, not stopping for pedestrian crossings. People who just don't know how to drive well. You know, as a man, you should know how to drive a little better than your female, okay? That's kind of sexist, I'm sorry, but you should know how to drive better. She'll have memories of sitting in people's cars and you want to be one of the good memories, one of the people who she felt safe and comfortable riding with. Number seven. Don't talk about your ex-girlfriends. This is really hard for some people, especially if you're coming out of a serious relationship, I understand. It's really easy to just start off with, oh, my ex, she is so crazy. She did this or she did that. Not a good idea, fellas. Because first of all, if you're talking about your ex like that, she might be thinking, well, what if one day we break up and this is how he will talk about me? Number two, it kind of reveals to her, well, maybe he isn't over his ex-girlfriend. And number three, 
some girls might be jealous. Personally, I would be kind of like trying to put a face on that ex-girlfriend, therefore taking me to feel a little insecure. Like what if she is so hot like Kate Moss, or if she is still around and still wants his doodad, you know, just, just don't talk about it. In fact, go as long as you can, even as you get into a relationship with her. Go as long as you can without talking about an ex-girlfriend because it's just baggage. And baggage is not attractive in any way, shape, or form. So just leave it in the past if you absolutely, absolutely need and have to talk about it, I suggest talking about it with a friend or a therapist. Someone who will listen without judgment, listen without insecurity, and, you know, just, just leave it out of your current relationship if you can. There will be times when you're bonding and like you're talking about trauma from the past and maybe your ex-girlfriend really hurt you all right fine that is i guess a suitable time to talk with each other about exes and stuff but i might be completely wrong about this um Maybe to some people, talking about ex-girlfriends and ex-boyfriends is the first thing to talk about, just so you know where this person is coming from. But personally, excuse me, personally, I'd rather not know. And most likely, she'd rather not know too. Respect her. There's nothing more disrespectful and disgusting and annoying and despicable about a man who does not know how to respect a woman and vice versa you know women should respect man too but what i mean is you should see her first of all as your equal if you are one of those dudes who like call girls bitches like oh that bitch you're not ready for a relationship click out of this video in fact forget everything that i just said in this video and just bye you're trash don't call her derogatory names like don't slut shame her don't talk to your homies about who she slept with or who she didn't sleep with don't ask her how many people or who she slept with it's none of your business. Don't text her only at night. Like, yeah. if it's the, oh, okay. So if it's past 9 p.m., I would take it easy. Especially if you're in the beginning stages of trying to pursue a girl. After 9 p.m., good night is the most you should be saying. Don't text her W-Y-D-R-N. First of all, texting is uh, it takes about five seconds to type the words what are you doing she's not a registered nurse don't type rn you are not in high school or i don't know maybe you are in high school and you think type even if you are in high school you should impress her with your eloquence respect and time in writing what are you doing right now like what if what if she's devoid of these abbreviations and she just reads a text from you that says widren what is a widren type the whole thing make her feel like she's worth your time because honestly those abbreviations maybe it's just me Maybe it's my love for writing, but when a person uses abbreviations like Widrin, it just makes me feel like, wow, am I not worth your time that you couldn't even type the whole thing to me? Or like, for instance, good morning, GM. 
What is GM? Game master? Be clear. Write good morning. Girls will appreciate that. Stop it with the abbreviations. I'm not saying be Shakespeare, but don't be lazy when talking to her. And I will just close with this one. Be sincere at all times. Don't make a girl fall in love with you if you have no intentions of catching her and treating her with love, respect, and every bit of affection you can give her with every fiber of your being. And everything I said, it goes for guys too. But since you're probably a guy, give what I said some thought. Maybe you'll thank me later. Or at least, I hope you'll thank me later because I, I do hope that you'll get the girl. Because I do want you to get the girl. If you're not, you know, mean and a player. And you type GN Woodrin to multiple girls at a time. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>